Hello, it's Solimek. In today's video, we will be cleaning fuel injectors on this 2019 Nissan Kicks. And what is special about this procedure, I'm not gonna remove the fuel injectors and clean them individually. Here's the procedure and how it's gonna work. I will be removing fuel line and then connect my DIY adapter and run the car with a can of carb cleaner instead of gas. This way it will run the engine and dissolve the carb around the fuel injectors and also inside the fuel injector as well. We all know that carb cleaner is much better than gas when it comes for dissolving carbs. But that one was another fuel injector for test, this one still untouched. So you will need a can of carb cleaner or a choke cleaner. Make sure to get the biggest can you can find so you can have more pressure and more run time, which in result it will be more cleaning. So for making one of these DIY adapters, you will need a straw that comes with a spray can and we need to glue the straw inside a piece of hose that's the same inner diameter as the fuel line. The glue I'm using is a CA glue. It comes with a glue and activator and that is what I'm gonna use. A hose clamp will be needed for the other side of the hose so the pressure of the carb cleaner won't push it out. Alright, few sprays of the activator first. It will make the glue harden up inside the hose before it runs while I hold the straw in the center. And then I will fill the rest with the glue and let it cure and harden up. Alright, we got everything we need. Let's get on the engine so I can show you where to connect this DIY adapter. Here is the fuel line on the fuel injector rail. We gonna remove that and then connect the DIY adapter so we can run the engine with a carb cleaner can. Depending on your car's model, you're gonna have to remove the fuel line. In my case, it doesn't need any special tool, just a flat screwdriver and then it pops out. And if you leave your car over the night, you're not gonna have any fuel pressure. Otherwise, you need to pull the fuel pump fuse and crank the engine. It will release all the fuel pressure. I'm gonna quickly remove the wire harnesses from the fuel injectors and unbolt the fuel rod to take out the whole fuel injectors. Just to show you the condition of the fuel injectors, you don't have to remove the fuel injectors like me here. I'm just doing that to show you before and after videos so you can see this method works. I always use this plier or a magnet for taking out the bolt so I don't lose any. Here are the fuel injectors. We can see there is a good amount of carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips. Now we're gonna put it back just like how it is and then do our procedure. And after the procedure we're gonna take it out and see if it can clean all that carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips. Now let's get back to the fuel rod. Inserting the DIY adapter, the one I showed you previously how to make it, and then clamp it down. The next step is to disable fuel pump from running and pumping gas. You can either disconnect the wire harness like me, or pull the fuel pump fuse out. The reason I pull the wire harness out so I can show you when the car is running on a carb cleaner and the wire harness is removed. But remember, for some cars, when you pull the fuel pump fuse out, the engine not gonna run because the same fuse is responsible for some electronics of the engine. Alright, the fuel pump is disconnected. Here is the DIY adapter on the fuel rod and here is the fuel line. We are gonna tuck it here. Next, inserting the straw on a carb cleaner nozzle and start spraying till it builds up a good amount of pressure. And then we are gonna start up the engine. Make sure to push the nozzle on the carb cleaner can so it feeds up and keep the pressure. Here is the fuel pump wire harness disconnected and the engine still running. Most of the times I keep my finger on a carb cleaner nozzle till the can can't provide enough pressure to run the engine smoothly. And then I will stop the engine. Be careful when you're removing the straw from the carb cleaner can because it still pressurizes it. Wearing eye protection will be important when you're doing this procedure on your car. Alright, the moment of truth. Here's how it looks now. It cleaned a good amount of carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips. But the outside of the fuel injector tips are not important. But it is a good indicator that inside the nozzles cleaned up as well. And even if the engine didn't start, just the engine crank and it will open up the nozzles and spray cleaner. We just need a contact between the carb and the cleaner. And here are the before and after pictures. We still have some left but the outside is not important like the inside where it sprays fuel. I recently cleaned fuel injectors on a different car. We can see it leaking fuel and carb trapped inside and not letting the solenoid close properly. But after a few sprays it got better and not leaking fuel. Alright we are almost done here. Let's remove the DIY adapter and then put the fuel line back on the fuel rod. 
Next fuel pump wire harness and closing the lid. Now we can put the seat back on. Alright we are done here, let's start the engine. You might experience a late startup because the fuel line is not pressurized, till it pressurizes it will take some time but you will have that only the first time. I previously cleaned my Toyota Camry's fuel injectors without removing with using O2 C100 kit canister. With this one you will fill the canister with a cleaner and use sharp air to pressurize the system. But with a carb cleaner it's already a cleaner and pressurized. So it's the same procedure but on a budget. And that was how to clean fuel injectors without removing with using a can of carb cleaner. I'll make sure to put some links in the video description box below for related videos. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.